Broadcasting from the NAB show in Las Vegas, when you see Electrovoice microphones demonstrated on YouTube, typically they're being demonstrated by a handsome guy named Nick, uh, Rick Belt, who is now <laughs> behind the camera because he has someone besides a tripod to, 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 to help make this video. We're, we're testing their uh, 635 LB, which is a long handle microphone uh, and thinner uh, and, and lighter weight. Uh, and uh, we're doing an A-B comparison between this and the RE50. All right, so I'm Rick Belt with Electrovoice Mics, and uh, we're A-B-ing some mics uh, with, <laughs> with our good friend Scott. This is the RE50 NDL, and it has probably 25 to 30% hotter output due to the neodymium magnet that's in it. Its uh, output voltage is 2.2 millivolts per pascal as compared to the regular RE50, which is uh, 1.6, and the 635 L that we looked at a minute ago is also about 1.6 millivolts. So it's just a hotter output, um, sometimes more appropriate for cameras that uh, need that extra gain coming out of the microphone. Electrovoice at the NAB is showing long handle microphones and their NDL higher output microphones. Uh, this is the 635 NDB higher output microphone. Uh, with the regular length handle, not the longer handle, um, the, uh, the regular uh, output dynamic mic comes in a long handle, this comes in a, in a regular length handle, and you can hear the uh, fidelity comparison between this and the uh, uh, RE50. This is the Electrovoice RE50L long handle dynamic microphone. Uh, the de facto standard in electronic news gathering uh, that you hear uh, in interviewing uh, stand-ups uh, and of course in this case it's with a long handle and uh, the Electrovoice st standard reliable built-in shock resistance and handling noise resistance built into this RE50L Electrovoice.